USB has been through a number of different variants since its release some 18 years ago, and now it's time for the latest version to hit the market. Join the How to AV team as we find out all about USB Type C and why we're all going to want it in our lives. USB or Universal Serial Bus is the well known industry standard developed to connect data and power supply via a simple universal connector and cable system, which we all recognise as looking like this. We all recognise standard USB as being the Type A connector, commonly found on PCs, laptops, and USB charging devices, and was developed to provide a standardised connection of computer peripherals such as mice, keyboards, storage devices printers and digital cameras for example. Over its long 18 year lifespan of the USB standard, a number of different connector types have been developed. The most common type is the Type A and the Type B, and the smaller USB Mini and Micro, developed for handheld and small devices such as mobile phones and digital cameras. However, as devices become smaller and thinner, but the requirement for data and power transfer increases at a rate, enter the latest and greatest version of USB, the Type-C. Brand new to the market, probably the earliest adopter of the USB Type-C is Apple's new MacBook. So I guess if the guys at Apple are running with it, then we can be pretty confident that we have a robust but also innovative connectivity standard. So let's take a look at the new USB Type-C connector, which as you can see is now significantly smaller than the common Type-A, only about a third of the size and therefore is both space saving and lighter. Ideal for both handheld and portable devices, but also ensuring less bulky cables to add to your collection. If you've noticed that the USB-C connector is similar in size to the Apple Lightning connector, another common feature you'll see is that the USB Type-C no longer has a wrong way up, as it has a reversible connector. Unlike its predecessors, which invariably you would try to plug in the wrong way up. But there's more to the introduction of the Type-C USB than just a physical connector. The latest connectivity type has been introduced onto the market at almost exact same time as the USB version 3.1. Just to confuse things, but trust me, it's good news. To clarify, USB Type-C is the physical connector type. USB version 3.1 is the new USB standard the mechanical, electrical and protocol specifications and capabilities. So the new USB Type-C connector and the USB 3.1 standard are not mutually exclusive. You can have one without the other, but the likelihood is that many devices featuring Type-C connectivity will also make use of the latest 3.1 standard. And what's USB 3.1 going to offer us that current versions 2 and 3 don't? Well, bandwidth and therefore speed has been given a huge upgrade for starters. Whereas USB 2.0 offers a transfer rate of up to 480 megabytes per second, and USB 3.0 having a maximum transfer rate of a pretty impressive 5 gigabytes, the new version 3.1 promises a theoretical bandwidth of a massive 10 gigabytes, doubling the transfer speed and the latest USB standard also offers significant improvements in its power transfer capabilities too. Whereas the common USB version 2.0 delivers up to 2.5 watts of power, enough to charge our smartphones and digital cameras, the power needed to charge laptops and other larger devices is around the 60 watt mark. The new USB 3.1 standard measures up here too, delivering up to a massive 100 watts of power and that power delivery is bi-directional, so your device can either receive or send power to either charge itself or charge ancillary devices from its own batteries. Furthermore, USB 3.1 can transfer this 100 watts of power at the same time as it's transmitting that huge bandwidth of data. So as you can see, combining the new USB Type-C connector with the technology of the new USB 3.1 standard means we can look forward to some pretty significant upgrades in our USB expectations, with connector size and flexibility hugely improved and with super speed data transfer and charging capabilities too, expect to see the new USB Type-C connector and 3.1 specifications on pretty much every new device to hit the market soon. 
we've got more information on the new USB 3.1 standard and a whole host of other technologies and tips from the world of AV and electronics here at howtoav.tv. Click on the screen now for more details or join our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I hope we'll see you again soon here at howtoav.tv.